Hello, welcome to the Tabletop CP. And today we return to North Africa for another game of Bolt Action. So we have a very special game tonight as two new armies clash and we're going to have the Italians versus the new fully completed 8th Army. So I just got done with the 8th Army guys. I completed the Italians a couple months ago but now they're both done and they're both ready for combat so I'm really looking forward to this one. Should be a great game. And speaking of Italian and 8th Army minis, I know just a place that you can go to get your very own, including a lot of the hard-to-find metal blisters, and that's Kick-Ass Mail Order. These guys are a U.S.-based mail order company, and they have a ton of World War II bolt-action minis, so go check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Tonight's game mat is the El Alamein map by Geek Villain. It's a great desert mat, but it also has quite a bit of green in it for some of those more uh, lush parts of North Africa. So check out the description if you want to pick up one of these for yourself. So game terrain wise we got a fairly dense board tonight. Um, we do have some hills so I'll start with those. So we have a two layer hill here. Uh, they're kind of hard to see on camera but uh, they are there so there's one there. There's another two layer hill in that corner over there. Two layer hill there and the two layer hill in that corner over there. Then we have some dense terrain scattered around. These are going to be soft cover, block line of sight, standard dense terrain rules. Uh, individual trees are nothing. Uh, the big rocks, these are just going to block line of sight. Can't go up on top of them. We also have some stone walls. These are going to be hard cover, but they will be able to be driven through with no penalty at all to tanks. And if a tank drives through it, we'll just remove the section. Uh, the two buildings are going to be hard cover as well, including on top. And if you are on top, you count as being in the building for HE purposes. So I believe that is it for terrain. Let's take a look at the forces. My apologies. Uh, we need to talk about the mission first. So tonight's mission is a brand new mission from Brad at Bolt Action Alliance. It's called Supply Drop. So this is one I've been excited to try out. Um, and we're going to try it out tonight. So in this mission, um, there are no objectives placed on the table. So there is going to be a plane flying over at the start of turn four that's going to drop supplies. So the first supply is going to land in the center of the board. And then subsequent uh, two supplies are going to land in a random in distance and direction from the center. So what we'll do is we'll roll 3d6. We'll add nine to that as well as a scatter dice. You can use a order dice as well and to determine the random direction. So there'll be a distance between 12 and 27 inches away from the center. So say we roll it this way, uh, it'll be 12 to 27 inches from the center this direction. And then we'll place one the exact opposite side, the exact distance away. And that will give us our three objectives. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out with the random objectives. As far as deployment goes, we'll, we will roll off to see who's attacker defender. Uh, we are playing Western Desert, so the all of the normal Italian rules are replaced by the Western Desert rules. So we're not, they're not going to get to re-roll to see if they get to be defender or whatever. They're not going to get any defenses or anything like that. So we'll just roll for attacker defender. Defender will de deploy half of his force within six inches of his board edge. The attacker will then do the same on the other uh, board edge. The rest will come in from reserves. And the objective of the game is to capture the most objectives at the end and have more in your control at the end of the game and to do that you have to have an infantry or artillery within three inches of it and no enemy infantry or artillery within three inches of it now we will look at the forces all right we'll start off with the eighth army force the newly completed eighth army force so it's Sikh infantry platoon with british support this is from the 1940 to 42 commonwealth infantry brigade selector from the western desert book it is 1040 points with 14 order dice. So starting out, we have a lieutenant with man. Now they're going to be armed with SMGs. We will have three infantry sections, regulars. Everything's regular, I'll say this right now, except for these engineers. So three sections, each is 10 men uh, with one Bren and a rifle armed um, NCO. One of them is free due to the manpower of the Empire rule for these guys. So the regular section is free. All I had to pay for was the uh, the LMG for 20 points, so good deal there. And then we have a Royal Engineer section. Five guys, all veterans with rifles except for one flamethrower. 
They're going to be riding in an India pattern carrier with additional pinnel mounted Bren, Bren gun on it. We also have a boys AT rifle. Free spotter, because you still get the free spotter and the free squad, so pretty solid. Um, I could have probably made this list a lot better, a lot more enhanced if I really wanted to, but we're just going to go with this. So um, continuing on here, we got a 2 inch mortar. Vickers medium machine gun. 25 pounder. We got the Marmon Harrington Armored Car Mark 1, which has the two medium machine guns on it. And then we're going to have two Matildas. So you could bring two Matildas for every two infantry sections. Um, after I already did all this, I, I'm realizing there's a difference between infantry section and engineer section, but I'm just counting them as infantry, so might be stretching the rules a little bit there. Uh, I apologize. I didn't realize that until it was too late. But anyway, we continue on with the two Matildas. So these are going to be 9 plus tanks. They're slow. One of them has a light AT gun. One of them has a um, close support variant uh, set up as a light howitzer. And I think that will do it. So we'll see how this goes. As I said, um, this list can be tooled up a lot better for competitive play, if that's your thing. Um, I've heard a lot about it just on various podcasts and stuff about how good this list can be. For example, you can bring a second 25 pounder, which I did not do. I do have a second 25 pounder, but it's my Perry Australian one. And I wanted to just have the new stuff that I completed um, for this army in this game. But when we run this again, I probably will bring a second 25 pounder, which would make it really nasty. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Italians. All right, so our Italian force, this is going to be from the 1940-41 Italian Armored Brigade. So it counts as an um, tank platoon in game terms. So you have to have transports for all of your infantry and artillery, which we do. So um, starting out here, we're going to have uh, 12 order dice, 1,066 points. And the command tank is going to be an M1340 medium tank. They're all called medium tanks, but they're actually light tanks as far as armor goes in the game at 8 plus. So we have um, an M1340 medium tank with light AT gun and dual bow machine guns. Two of those. And then the third tank is going to be an M1139 medium tank. Again 8 plus armor. It has a forward facing light AT gun in the hull. And then turret mounted twin medium machine guns. So it's a pretty interesting vehicle there. Both of these are bristling with machine guns or all of these. Uh, then we're going to have an auto Blinda armored car. It's got an auto cannon with a coax machine gun and a rear facing machine gun. And then we'll have three infantry sections. So these are just regular Italian infantry sections. Uh, they are full strength, so 11 men, SMG sergeant, and an LMG team. They're going to be riding in three trucks. Two of them are going to be some for my Germans because I don't have three Italian trucks. So two um, Opal Blitzes and then the Italian truck, all with machine guns. And then lastly, we're going to have the Elephantino light AT gun. And it will be carried around in this captured British field artillery tractor. And that will be its transport. So that is the Italian list. And these guys have a ton of special rules. So let's go over the special rules real quick. So first we have iron holes, iron hearts, and this is specific to this, um, uh, what is this, uh, Italian Armored Brigade. So with this rule, um, these tanks can reroll failed order tests to advance or run as long as they run or advance towards the enemy. So that's pretty cool. Then they're going to have a rule called Avanti, which the infantry can do the same thing. Infantry reroll failed run or advancing, um, if they're winning, I'm sorry. So in this game, uh, to determine who's winning, since you can't really tell who won until after the game, what we'll do is we'll use kill points. So if the Italians have more kill points than the British, they will get to use the Avanti rule. Uh, the next rule is called, uh, Ave I'm sorry if I butcher these, Avanzari. So AT guns can forward deploy. Uh, there's another rule called poor officers. Officers can only add their command to ambush, fire, and rally orders. Another rule, so there's a ton of these, like I said, Prudente, infantry take a minus one to all order tests. So that's really bad. But this one's good is Testardo, infantry are all stubborn. So that will be very helpful in holding on to these objectives for the Italians. Uh, that last one, uh, I don't know if it really applies. I think it's more for a late desert war, whatever. Uh, we're just going to use it. 
Um, and then there's a few more rules which I'll talk about right now. All right, so sorry for this long intro, but there's a lot of stuff. We're trying to use a lot of the rules from the book. So we're going to use some desert climate and some weather effects in this game. So the desert climate, I've gone through and looked at them. Uh, we're going to use the sand one. So if you take a pin as a vehicle, you get an additional pin uh, from that for sand. You're unreliable. Uh, so it's just an extra pin if you take a pin. There's another one called Ice Cold and Alex. Uh, so infantry, um, that run... They roll a d6. If you roll less than the turn number, your men are dehydrated from the heat and your run order is only 6 inches instead of 12. And then finally, dust clouds. Uh, when a vehicle runs, we'll roll a d6. On a 4+, plus, you place a 4-inch uh, dust cloud behind it. And the dust clouds are going to act exactly the same as smoke in the game. Uh, as far as weather effects, uh, we will roll. There's a table you roll on. And we'll roll at the beginning of the game to see if we get any weather effects. And then if we do, we will um, let you know what those are. So extended uh, briefing here, but we're ready to get started. All right, Steve's arrived. He'll be the Italians. I will be the 8th Army. And we rolled off. I got this. Uh, I won, so I picked this side of the table. Steve is on that side. And I deployed half my units, which was 7 units. So I have my close support Matilda here. I have a section here, my Vickers machine gun here, another section, a 25 pounder, the regular uh, light AT gun Matilda, and then my Marmon Harrington armored car. All within six. Uh, Steve, meanwhile, he has, so we're going to say this is his command tank, the, the uh, non, the one that's not like the other two. They're essentially the same tank, same weapon, so just to make it easier, we'll say that that's the command tank. So that's the command tank, and then he's got his, uh, another tank there. He's got a truck full of infantry on the road, and he's got a, his uh, second tank over there, or his third tank, and then he forward deployed with his Avanzari special rule, his Elephantino anti-tank gun right there in, the, uh, in those woods. So I think that's it. Uh, when turn four rolls around, we will... We will... Uh, bring the plane in but until then uh, let's go ahead and get started about ready to start uh one thing i didn't mention i do have one outflanker and that's my indie pattern carrier with the engineers if you can close your eyes steve i'll be bringing them in over there okay <laughs> so we got the order dice together steve's the bag man tonight and we're, let's get started and the gray dice is the italians oh, he put something down. All right, and then one of mine. I just had my armored car uh, haul ass up to that rock up there just to get out of the way of those two tanks on the other side. And it did leave a puff of uh, dust there. Another one of mine. Put my 25 pounder on ambush. Next die. Another one of mine. Just had this section here advance up towards the wall. And we were able to get in range of the Elephantino and I tank gun. Uh, he did go down though, so it'll be sevens. One possible, come on, pin. Nope. Look at all those ones and twos. Next die. Another one of mine. I just went down with the uh, infantry squad. Some reserves. Another one of mine, I'll go down again. All right, I come on, put, Steve. Do <laughs> you have dice in there? <laughs> All right. I do have dice. <laughs> Another one down. I still have some. I think I have more to go down. I'll check after this die. Well, you got at least seven. You Another, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two more things to go down. All, All right. right. Now there you go. That's one of Steve's. And <laughs> one of my dice. And it's, uh, Steve had um, his truck ran from the road over to the, behind the building instead of um, down the road. So it's gonna be the British dice. All right, put something down. One of Steve's. Hmm. So Steve advanced his command tank out uh, straight ahead and he is gonna take a shot over here at my 25 pounder, but I'm gonna fire off an AP shell. That's why I loaded, because I was waiting for vehicles. 
So, um, just long range, needing a four. I missed. And he's gonna fire his long cannon. Long range moved, needing a five. Oh no, it's a hit. He's hit my 25 pounder with the uh, one inch template. So you get two guys, you can get two guys with that. So one's dead. One dead and then D two pins. One pin. So a dead and a pin, all right. Could have been worse. I'm down to two guys with a pin. And I think the machine gun can make it over there too, so let's shoot the machine gun as well. Okay. Twin length, is that three shots each or four? I'll figure it out. Needing fives on the machine gun. The two machine guns. Is that a small team? Oh yeah, so sixes. It's a small team now. Good call. I do the same for me. <laughs> it's another hit, so I do have a gun shield, so you need a five to kill. Oh Ooh. no, you got another kill. All right then, uh, down to one guy. So I'll have to take a morale test, I guess. At minus one. Six, he'll make it. Okay, uh, that's it. Next die. One of mine. Well, maybe it's time for the Matilda to come out, take a shot. My Matilda's coming out, see if we get some revenge for our 25 pounder. Uh, he's just advanced straight out, only six inches because he's slow. And we're going to take a shot at that uh, Italian command tank. So moved long range with the light AT gun, needing to five. It's a miss. Next die. One of Steve's. Tank, uh, the other tank that was back there by the command tank has advanced forward. He's got line of sight onto the Marmon Harrington. He's going to see if he can take him down. Needing a seven. Six, right? Or six, yeah. yeah. That's Still nice. missed. And then the uh, bow guns are going to shoot at the guys in the open out there. Okay. And then the two uh, machine guns, he's going to fire at these guys here. Move long range, needing fives. Whoa. Four hits. Five hits. Five hits? Oh my god, that's half hits needing fives. <laughs> okay, Steve's are all hot now. Uh, two dead. Two. Three dead. And two sixes. <laughs> no, two, three dead and a pin. Wow. These guys have been reduced by three guys. And they took a pin. So next guy. One of mine. Um, how about we, let me think about it. That squad uh, passed their one pin order and they're just running down towards the house. Another one of Steve's. Tank, uh, the last of the Italian tanks has advanced up and he is going to fire onto the 25 pounder with the main gun. Eight and a five. It's a miss, miss, thank God. He's got some machine 36 guns. 36 inch range, right? Yep. Uh, that's probably iffy. Probably. So these guys are still in sight though, right? Yeah, you could Hard probably cutting. see a few of those guys. So Moved, long range, hard cover. There's sevens to hit the infantry. But you do have ten shots. Because you got the two machine guns. Which is pretty epic. Got uh, three possibles. Nope. Negative. No dice. <laughs> okay. See it, machine guns. Next dice. It's a lot of machine guns out there. Just another one of yours. I'll just put the guy in the truck down. Okay. Another one of uh, yours. We'll you're pretty much done, right? I think so. That's all the stuff. Yeah, you're, so all, everything on the board for you is gone. I still got my other close support Matilda section and my machine gun. Steve's still pulling dice out. So 
So he's pretty much done going down with his reserves. That's one of my. I tell the advance down the road 12 inches. Uh, he has only the one, well he's got the cannon but the coax, I don't have a whole gun, otherwise he could fire at the truck, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire at that tank sitting out in the road over there. So uh, light howitzer, long range, moved. So a five. Oh, it's a hit. It's a hit. Uh, light howitzer is only like a plus two pen though. Uh, you're an eight. So with a six, I could glance you. Nope. Nothing but D3 pins. Wait, a tank? Oh, no, it's D3 pins on a tank? Yeah, puts pins on the tank. Well, I know you put pins on it. I didn't think you got the D3 for a vehicle. Yeah, the, the howitzer. That's, what, that's why howitzer tanks are good, because they can put a lot of pins out on tanks. So, I've got so thanks to the sand, Steve just suffered three, uh, four pins on that tank right there. Brutal. My Bickers, uh, he just ran into the building and that's it. Uh, the last dice I have is the last thing I have in reserve. So we move on to turn two. But turn two, it's getting hotter. It's getting hotter. The men might start suffering from heat exhaustion starting this turn. So first die. It's one of mine. Matilda has advanced, and we are going to fire onto that tank there. Uh, so just moved, and that's it. So needing a four. <laughs> it's a miss. Oh god, the early game struggles continue. Next guy, one of Steve's. Steve has just uh, deployed his squad from inside the truck. Just next to the truck there behind the building, out of line of sight of everything, next day. It's a Italian? Italian. Yeah. So the command tank, he just pivoted to get a better arc of fire with his um, fixed, or not fixed, but his bow AT gun. <laughs> he was going to fire that on the armored car. The armored car just wrecked up. Um, you could pull a dice out for the wrecky vehicle. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Okay. And so he just pulled up there to get out of the way, but he also declared he was going to fire his machine guns up at the 25 pounder. So long range, small team, moves. He got one. Two. Two. There's only one guy left. Needing a five. Ah, he killed him. Killed he killed the 25 pounder off. Oh man. That was a horrible spot to put him. Okay. <laughs> that was sad. I should have brought a second one. One of mine. Oh, the, the squad just advanced up towards the wall, and we will again fire at the Elephantino AT gun. Uh, needing sixes though, everyone's in range this time. So, I got a hit. I'll take it. And then, um, no, <laughs> no gun shield on that thing, so it's going to be just a four up. Nope, nothing but a pin. And that's that. All right, next die. One of mine. Hmm. Let me think about it. The squad uh, that was out there has just pulled back behind the house just to get out of line of sight of that tank. Next die. Italians. So Steve just advanced his truck up a little bit, crept up, and he is going to crept up two more inches. fire at these guys here with his machine gun. Nothing. Alright, next guy. Never mind. Brought my uh, free art artillery spotter in over here. Uh, so he can't see that way, but he can definitely see over that direction. And another Italian dice. I try to rally this guy. Rallying the other tank, probably a good idea with four pins. Well, is there some special rule like re-roll? Uh, uh, yeah, if you give an order test, you can re-roll it, or uh, advance or run test. Oh uh, no, I'm not doing that. But you still have to. I need to get rid of four pins. <laughs> you still have to re-roll the four pins. <laughs> 
Nine. You do pass. You do pass. So it's so one plus D D six. So I got three. three. So he's down to one pin. That's the next die. My dice are cool. Uh, let's see here. I got my AT rifle, my officer, my two inch mortar, and then another section. But I'm waiting to bring the section in until probably turn four. So I see where those objectives start coming in. Um, but I do have those other three things I could try to bring in. T rifles made it in. He just ran way up there by that rock. Um, we need stuff on this side, so he'll be on this side just in case the objectives drift this direction. Next die, I want to mine again. Uh, okay, two inch mortar. See if he'll come in. He will not come in. Alright, next die. One years. The auto Glinda has come in uh, from the road. Yeah, so it's just moved. It's advanced up, and he's going to fire at my armored car with this auto cannon. You have to get two shots with this uh, auto cannon. Oh, one hit. One hit. Two, two hits. Hit. So plus two against my seven. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, oh, so you got a you got a glancing hit. So roll a d6 to see what happens. So he takes two pins, essentially. Because it was stunned. Or shaken, or whatever the hell it was. I guess was. I should have asked what I was shooting. I assume that was an AT gun. No, I think it's a light auto cannon. I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure it's a light auto cannon. Next day. One of yours. Steve has um, rotated his tank. He's going to put everything into this squad. So... AT gun. That'll be a miss. Moved hard cover. And then all the machine guns, long range, moved hard cover. So sevens for the machine guns. I see one possible. One possible. Alright, nothing. That's good. That's good. Could have been bad. I forgot that I was going to... Not with sevens. <laughs> Next die. One of Steve's again. I'm going to try, try to pass an order with the... AT gun. AT gun. He does. Good. I'm going to put him on ambush. Probably a good call. Just because that Matilda can come out and you can take a shot at it. Next die. Nine. My officers come on. He's just run up here with the uh, main part of the platoon. Uh, that's where he can use his commands most effectively. Uh, next day. Another one of mine. Uh, I'll put one of my. Uh, I'll put my Indian carrier down. It's outflanking. One of yours. Steve has uh, put one of his uh, two infantry squads in reserve down on the mine. I'll put my engineers down. I, I'll put my infantry squad that's in reserve down as well. It's too early to bring them in. So he'll yeah, put one of his down. Yeah, I'm pretty much, I have my Matilda, okay. that Matilda left. That might be it. Another one of yours, so that's I think you have one more thing to put down in reserve. Yep. And you do your material at time. I don't have anything left that moves, so. So what's left in there? Should I still have a die somewhere? What did I not? We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> the extra dice was that captured field artillery tractor with nothing on it. And he failed his order anyway. He didn't want to come in. So the last dice is mine. It's going to be my close support Matilda. Prep my Matilda up. I am behind cover though from the AT gun, which is on ambush. He's gonna fire it. Needing a five. No, it's a miss. Okay, now the question is what do I want to fire my howitzer at? The tank or truck. the AT gun? The truck? I think I'll take a shot at the tank. Must be needing a four. Uh, he's not in cover, but I did move. Come on, Matilda. Boom. 
That's two shots and two hits from the Matilda. I'm a plus two, you're an eight, so I need a six to, to glance you again. Oh, you got it. That's a glancing hit. See what happens. Minus three. No, so it's just D3 pins plus one, I guess. So two pins, but plus one for the sand. So three pins on that tank now. So Matilda, close support Matilda has been doing all the work so far for me. And that'll do it well, for that turn two, pins. two. Yes, you're right. The armored car will have two pins. Now we move on to turn three. Top of turn three. See who gets the first die. And it is the Italians. He moved his, he passed the one pin order. He moved up, uh, got right in front of my armored car who wreckied back. He does have three pins, by the way, uh, because of sand. So he just pulled back, but Steve's still going to get to shoot. Uh, needing a four. Oh no, it's a hit. Uh, you're a four against my seven. So come on, four up. Boom. Oh no. Penetrating hit. It's a penetrating hit. See what happens. Oh, <laughs> he geez. just takes two more pins. Come on, three more pins. Three more pins. So he's up to six pins. And then he'll have to take a, an order dice out for him for wrecking. So he's doing a good job of drawing fire. He'll have, to rally. Guns are He'll have to rally. Machine guns are going <laughs> to shoot on the guys behind the building. Okay. I have to make a so these guys hard over cover here. call here. I'll check it out. Machine guns here, no cover, just long range moved. He's got three hits. Three hits. Needing fours. One dead. Okay, That's one dead and a pin. Oh, it's a six. No. Okay, one dead and a pin. All right then. Next die. One of mine. Matilda has advanced up. Light AT gun is going to see if we can hit that tank directly in front of us, dead ahead. How can we miss? It's oh, a hit. So I'm also a light AT gun, but you're an eight. A light tank. So I'm a four. So I needed a four to glance and a five to penetrate. Come on, Matilda. Oh, it's a penetrating hit. Okay. Let's see what happens. Give me four plus. No, oh, no, it's just on fire. No, it's not bad. <laughs> so you take a pin two pins and I think you, and then you take a morale test auto morale test to see if you bail out of the tank oh uh, yeah you, you bail out wait I gotta re-roll it right uh, no that's iron hearts iron holes it's you re-roll failed order test not morale test <laughs> and that's only if you're moving towards me which you're not <laughs> so, I'm jumping out of the tank so that tank has been uh, Set on fire, and the crew is running off yelling. Mamma mia! Next die. Good job, Matildas. My Matildas are doing well. My infantry's getting chewed to hell, though. And one of mine. I had my Vickers, which I forgot about last turn, so. Uh, but he did move up there. So, next die. Did you pull one? Yeah, pull it. Oh, one. Italians. Mm. Steve's uh, other tank over here rallied, so he's pinned free now. Next day. Another one of Steve's. Steve's truck is going to fire at my Vickers. It's five shots, right? Yep. Uh, uh, are you within 16? Or oh yeah. is it 18? Well, within. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you just needed fives. Three hits. It's all of a shot. Oh, shit, Three they're all dead. dead. Oh, my God. Stupid trucks. Machine guns, man. Truck, <laughs> truck killed my Vickers. I think the last game I played with the, in the desert against Craig, my truck was kicking some ass. <laughs> truck machine guns are really good. 
<laughs> trucks with machine guns are better than just regular machine but guns. But you got to keep close, though. That's the problem. Yeah, it's not that hard, though. A 36 inch range. <sighs> just sit back and just fire away. Uh, okay, one of mine. The artillery observer called in an artillery barrage right there where that red smoke is. Next die is one of Steve's. Steve's armored car has just moved up here, shot the gap between the wall and the other tank. He's going to see if he can finish off my Marvin Harrington. Eden fours. Eden fours. Oh, oh my god. god. So plus two. Oh, oh my god. That's... Two penetrating hits. And a two and a three. So he takes, what, two more pins? Three more pins? Well, he. He's pinned out, and he has to take a morale test. <laughs> so he's gone. My armored car is dead. Ah, what the he did nothing. hell just happened? So there's another kill point for you. And next die. Yeah, the armored car is on fire. It's a damn shame. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. So one of mine... And Matilda, we're going to take a shot at the um, at the armored car. So I just turned my turret slightly. And we're going to take a shot. Needing a four. Boom. Matilda has not missed. And I'm hitting a side shot. So the plus two from the cannon goes to plus three. And you're a seven. There we go. Yes. Ah, it's only a two. So that's uh, non, that doesn't do anything except add some pins. D3. Damn. Two pins. But one for the sand. I was adding one. You rolled a one. <laughs> so. so he hasn't missed yet. He did two pins. Which is decent. So next die. And we'll sit here and get shot at the rest of the game, but... Or Matilda, we don't care. Uh, put my uh, India pattern carrier down. One of Steve's. T gun firing at the Matilda, needing a five. Not a five. It's a one. Gets hot. Gets hot. Melts your face off. <laughs> Steve's, Steve's fate. Now, your favorite rule was. Uh, one of your favorite was the Doom of Malantai. Oh, I hated it. <laughs> he was a 40k like Tyranid boss guy. He was pretty. He was pretty good. That was enough to make me quit the hobby. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons we don't play 40k anymore. All right, so one of uh, one of mine. Put my AT rifle back a couple inches just to clear the Matilda and get a shot on the armored car. Needing a seven though. <laughs> I'm rolling a uh, order dice here. Oh, it was close. It whistled by. Next die. One of Steve's. Steve just uh, moved the guys behind the building up to the building. Just hugging the wall there. And then another one of mine. Put my uh, Royal Engineer section down. Another one of mine. So both your Matildas have gone, right? Both Matildas have gone. I'll put my uh, my squad, my section that's in reserve on foot down as well. Have anything left on the table that hasn't gone yet? I got both of these squads. Haven't gone yet. And I have my two inch mortar still off the board. One on, one of Steve's. Put his captured field artillery tractor down. <laughs> He's got another dice. I need to make a decision. He brought a squad and a truck in. Mine those trees. Another one of mine. Uh, let's try to bring in the two inch mortar again. Yeah, he'll come in. Two inch mortar is run on, and he's hiding behind the rocks there. And another one of Steve's. Squad in the truck over there went down. Another one of mine. I'll. I put my section down that was off the board already. And I gotta really start keeping track of these dice. So that squad uh, that had the pin past the order ran into the building. Not sure how good of an idea that is, but we did it anyway, and one of Steve's. 
He's going to go down with his other squad in the truck off of the board. Now he'll go down with the truck. Is this the last dice? Last die. Uh, really? Yeah. What about these? These guys never went. I told my officer. We'll sort it out. The plane is flying overhead and parachutes are coming down. Supplies are dropping. Dropped one in the middle. And it's going to send one plus nine that direction and another one the same distance this side. So we'll go ahead and set those up. This is how the supplies uh, scattered so that they are there. So he's got a pretty good, he pretty much got that one already. That's how your artillery blows me off. Uh, I got, this one is pretty good, but he still has a truck off in the, um, in the, uh, a truck with a squad in off the board. Now I'll roll for my artillery barrage. It's coming in, it's coming in. So it is, uh, what the hell is it? D6 plus six inches diameter. So 11 inch diameter from that point there. So we'll figure it out. 11 inch template gets all of this stuff, everything. So uh, we will start over here. Needing a, a six to get a heavy howitzer hit. Nope. So D3 pins on these guys. The truck. <laughs> D3 pins on the truck. The tank. Oh, it's a heavy howitzer hit on the tank. The Katusha. The Katusha hit. And then the uh, AT gun. <laughs> oh my god. Heavy howitzer hit on the AT gun. The truck. D3 pins. All right, so we'll start here, D3 pins. Three pins, so that'll be three pins on the truck and the guys in the truck. Uh, the truck there will take three pins. The squad will take three pins. That's about as devastating as a uh, barrage as you're gonna see in a game. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with these, with the two that got hit. Hitting the top of the tank, it's a 4 inch template, which is plus 4 penetration, plus 1 for hitting the top, so a plus 5 against his 8. Whew. I think that's going to be a double pin. Um, and then I'm hitting all three of the guys in the Elephantino, and they're all dead. So let's see what happens to the tank. He's dead. Holy crap, that was an epic, uh, epic artillery barrage. I think probably the best artillery barrage we maybe have ever seen on the channel. All right, uh, that was an epic uh, artillery barrage. That one will go down in history for a long time. So, uh, one of mine. Tilda's made his pivot, he moved. He is within six of that tank. So we're gonna fire at the tank there. Uh, point blank, needing a three. Whew. I saw a one there briefly. And I'm a four against your so it's eight. So I need a four plus to do anything. No. Nothing but a pin. Two pins because of the sand. So good job, Matilda. That was a great, uh, great job there. Could have been better, but we'll take it. We're still happy. Uh, from the artillery strike. Still haven't missed. Haven't missed with Matilda yet. That's true. Next day. One of Steve's. Auto Blenda has Fubar. And that means he rolled a D6. Oh, he's going to fire at an. So he'll fire at this tank here. He's confused. But you do have two pins on you. <laughs> So uh, you're needing uh, two, but two more because of the, uh, the pins. So fours. Yeah, got two hits. Two right? hits. Uh, it's two. Yeah. So you're plus two. So I think that's just another. Another two pins. D two pins, or no, just two pin. One pin. Two. Two pins because of the sand. Sand is really screwing with the. Uh, Italians in this game. Yeah, How many all pins the Italians the tank? that are rooting for me, I <laughs> gotta apologize. I 
he's making them he's giving the Italians a bad name <laughs> which is hard to do in for a war two another one of Steve's rallying the tank failed failed oh my god it's all falling apart for the Italians for sure now they're all shook up from that barrage another one of Steve's Rally. <laughs> so the squad behind the building rallied and but they still have a pin so they've Jesus. lost two of their three pins. Okay, the uh, truck. I gotta pull another die. No, I don't, because like, I'm not doing anything this turn, so <laughs> you can take all your... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do. But now's my move. Now's the time to make my move. What I'm saying is I'm not gonna move. I'll be sitting here. You can... It doesn't really matter, will you? Oh. I guess you could pin me out if I, <laughs> if I rallied too soon. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Close support Matilda advanced up his six inches. He's gonna fire at the squad. Needing a five. Oh, he missed. Damn, until this. I guess I can't complain too much. They've hit everything until now. Next guy. Another one of Steve's. Another rally. So he's still got three pins on everything back there. Yeah, let's try to rally the guys in the truck. Okay. They do. They're pin free. All right, next day. Mine. The officer. Uh, first, he ordered the squad to run. They're over here by this uh, big rock now, with blocked line of sight. And then he ran into the building with the other squad. Next day is a uh, Italian truck. dice truck rallying. He does. He's pin free as well. So full squad in a truck, pin free. He still has another full squad in a truck off the board. I I have a full squad off the truck or off the board still as long as as well as my uh, engineer squad. It's one of mine. What's left of the section that was in the building is advanced up to the top of the building, and we are going to fire at the Italian truck. Whites will be the Bren, uh, needing fours. And the blues will be the rifles, needing fives. So whites needing fours. Like Missing one here. Three. One, two, three, four, five hits. I need fives with the blues. So five hits. And needing a six. Got one six. Throw it up. He's on fire. We'll sort it out. More pins and a morale test. Yeah. yeah. The truck is gone. Well, it saves me the trouble of rallying him. So. <laughs> Next day. I'll give you a great day. Three vehicles on fire. Killed by fire this game. Another one of mine. I just put my two inch mortar down. Next day. Another one of mine. I didn't want another one of mine. Oh, I got my AT rifle. What the hell is he gonna do? Don't think about it. My AT rifle has gone on ambush. Another one of mine. Damn. What the hell do I even have left? Now, I, now I only have stuff left that's off the board. My Indian pattern carriers, my squad, and the guys in the carrier. Brought my. Um, Infantry section in here. They just advanced up here towards that objective. Oh, man. I don't want another one of mine I guess I gotta wait another turn. I Really needed to see where your last truck came in before I brought my engineers in You know what? I'm just gonna wait. Oh, he's an outflanker, right? He's an outflanker, so I'm gonna wait another turn But, but you know That doesn't shame. I mean it just moves them farther up, right? It doesn't right, but I I have to. I want to see where these guys come in before I bring them in. So uh, it doesn't change where I come in, no. But if you come in where I, on the side where I, I come in, you know, I don't want to come in and then have you come in right next to me. <laughs> so next day, I'll put my India, India pattern carrier down. It's kind of risky to use a to wait another turn with the outflankers, but 
All right, so that's one of Steve's. That's his truck and his squad. The truck has advanced double down the road. The guys got out, ran into the building, and then the truck is going to fire his machine gun at these guys up here. So moved long range, long range hard cover. So sevens. Not even close. And that will do it for turn four. Moving on to turn five. Turn five, top of five. Who gets the first die? It's the Italians. Uh, the squad that was in the truck advanced out into those woods. And they're going to fire at these guys up here. Needing sevens. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of... Oh, God. Look at how many fives, too. That would have been an awesome roll if I needed five. Yeah, some five sixes. Ooh, three more three sixes. Hits. Oh, three hits. Yeah. Three hits. Nice. That is really good. I wish I could have been rolling it on something <laughs> meaningful, like blowing up a vehicle. But, uh, two two dead. dead. Wow. Man, that was a hell of a shot needing sevens. And then you get to re-roll that six again. Why not? One more. Oh. <laughs> you only got like eight or nine, or more than that. Yeah, that was a crazy roll. I'm I down to four guys in this squad. could have been more. <laughs> All right, next die. Mm. That was an amazing <laughs> You just don't even bother on Needing. Hey, you, were, you were just about to not bother. So, yeah, why not try it? Another one of Steve's. The truck uh, oh. swung around. He's going to fire his machine gun at these guys. Eight fours. Two hits. Two more sixes. <laughs> Another eight, six. One dead. It's uh, a lot of sixes you've been rolling. Yeah, well, you got a pin and a dead. All right, next die. It's funny, I started out rolling hot, and then it just went dead. Yeah, that's how it and always And then, then once my guys were all wiped up, then I started I always, uh, every game it seems like I start out rolling crap at the first two or three turns. Another one of Steve's. The truck has advanced up. He's going to fire up here. <laughs> Needing sixes, which haven't been hard to come by lately. Oh. Got one. Another dead. Another pin. Man. You have been rolling well this turn. Next die. <laughs> Another one of yours. The auto blender has again failed in order. Nearly food bar, he rolled an 11. So it would have been two food bars in a row, but he's back there now. Next one, next die. Actually, if I had played properly and I said he's gonna advance on the building, he'd get to roll that again, right? Uh, it's only tanks. It's only light tanks, not Oh, okay. Armored cars that can do that. I thought it was beating. Hey, a British tank or a British dice. I'm gonna just fire at the tank again. It's a hit. All right, so uh, I'm up four against your eight. Uh, eight. I need a four up. Nothing but a two more pins. So you're up to six pins. Yeah, it's not uh, looking too good. Next die. For that guy. Another one of mine. Pass the order with that section there. We're going to fire at the truck. Um, threes for the machine gun, which are white. Fours for the rifles. So, quite a few hits. Look at all those hits. And needing a six. Two sixes. Come on, take out another truck. Oh yeah, he's toast. Truck is destroyed. Next die. Another one of mine. Ah, uh, my Matilda. My other Matilda. What am I going to do with you? Passed an order with the squad on the roof. There's down to one pin. I'm going to fire at the truck. See if we can do the trifecta here. I need the four because of the pin. I got two hits. Needing a six. Nope, nothing but a pin. Nothing but a pin on the truck. Nice to take out another truck, but 
We'll have to settle for a pin next day. One of Steve's. Why behind the building has failed in a one pin order. British. My section that was in the woods here just advanced out towards this objective. And I got two rifles and a machine gun that can make it into that building needing sevens. You want to go down? <laughs> yeah? All right. Are you sure? All right then. I could roll a bunch of sevens here. I got one possible. Come on, at least put a pin on these bastards. Nope. Nothing. Next die. Another one of Steve's. That squad has come out. On to the objective. It was an Italian LMG. How many shots? It's, it's four shots. Yeah. Uh, so the yeah they come out. Uh, they're on the objective. They're gonna fire up here at these boys. I need sixes. Two. You should have more shots than that. Seven rifles and oh, okay. LMG. Yeah, you're right. I guess I missed one rifle, now that you mentioned it. And nothing. Nothing but a pin. So they're up to, back up to two pins now. Alright, next day. One of mine. A carrier has come in, and he's run as far as he could uh, from the side that I picked earlier and he wound up up here uh, but he ran so I can't get out so uh, we'll see what happens next turn but ne uh, next die another one of mine I'll just put the guys inside down next die another one of mine uh, what the hell do I even have left? My officer. I think I did. Do I have. Oh, my Matilda. This Matilda hasn't gone yet. My Matilda has reversed back. And we're going to take a shot at these boys here. Needing a four. Ah, missed. Next time it'll be a three. Next die. Another one of mine. I don't have that many left. So I, don't I should have one left. No, you've got two left. I've got two one left. left. Oh, my two-inch mortar hasn't gone yet. Um, you know what? All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's just screw our two-inch mortar over a little bit, and then let's fire fire a shot off at those guys. So needing a six to hit. Boom. Oh! The two inch motor nails it. Uh, it's a one inch template, so what's that, like two of those guys? I don't know, man, these guys are pretty close together. I can get all three of those guys. So, uh, plus one, you're regular, so needing threes. Two dead. And then D2 pins. One pin. One pin and two dead. Good job, two inch mortar. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that should bring some people back. <laughs> <Until the last laughs> <stream. laughs> hey, did you hear about that hey, two inch mortar? What's going on? It's the nerd cave. <laughs> the two inch mortar just popped out and hit something. Quick lob, log on. <laughs> it's all over social media. Another one of Steve's. This guy's gonna Suddenly the Italian tank is back in the fight with a incredible courage or insane heroism, as we call it. Roll. Double ones on his uh, rally, which is pretty good. So he's going to be back in the fight. That's so that'll make this last turn interesting. Uh, my last thing, I got my officer. What the hell is he going to do? Um, I could pop out and try to put another pin on, maybe put some damage on those guys, but then he might get gunned down. Uh, my AT rifle can still. He'll just hang there. So yeah, that's it. Leave my officer in there, leave my AT rifle there, and move on to the next turn. All right, top of turn six. Who's going to get the first die this time? You got, you got twice as many dice <laughs> as here as I do. Oh, come on. Glorious. Yes! Oh. 
Oh, he's got the first die. All right. So with this first, his newly revived uh, tank is going to try to take out my India pattern carrier here. Even a three. Oh man, I can't see it. It's a five. Oh. It's a hit. Okay, so it's, uh, what are you, a four against my seven. Nothing but a pin. I got uh, two machine guns, right? Yeah, but you can't put any more pins on them. It's open top, right? Doesn't It, it is, uh, but... Uh, it can't destroy it's a seven plus so what was that? well it could have been interesting but it's not so. <laughs> next guy unless it prevents you from passing an order it uh yes i've been known to fail one pin orders a lot uh, my close support matilda's gonna fire at them they're gonna go down though right on the objective so that's cool um so now I'm needing a five. Come on, Matilda. Yeah, that's another miss. He's cooled off from his early game exploits. Another one of Steve's. Auto Blinda. Failed another order with a 10. You're getting lower though. You started with a 12, you went to an 11, you got to a 10. So in like three more turns, you should pass an order. Uh, another one of mine. All right, see if we can pass an order with the India carrier. Yes, we do. Okay, good. All right, he moved up. Uh, he's right there, and he's going to fire at the truck. I think I'm within point blank of the truck. So, just needing threes. Come on, let's kick this truck out. Yeah, that's a lot. Needing a six. Got one, two. Two sixes. Come on, let's take out the third truck. Yeah, he's toast. I've killed all three Italian trucks. Pretty epic. Next day. My other Matilda here could do something. So Steve remembered I should have had from the sand a second pin, which I think I still would have passed the order because I think I rolled a seven, but I would have had one more pin for a negative one on shooting at the truck. Whatever, we're just gonna go with it. So. Meanwhile, this Matilda hothead has moved up here, and he's gonna do a side shot on rivet tank. So it's vulnerable. It's got the riveted construction. Steve's favorite. Why do I have all these dice? I just need one dice here. I need a three. Come on, hothead. Yeah, I got a three. So that's uh, plus one on the side, plus one for the riveted construction, which brings my four up to a six against your eight. So I have a... Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a double pen. Because it's plus three more than eight. Six plus five is eleven. See if we can take out Rivet Tank. No, no, we don't. We don't take out Rivet Tank. He's immobilized though. Twice. Oh, he's dead. If you're immobilized twice, you die. Okay, then I'm good. That's a double immobilized kill. Boom. All right, next die. Good job, Hothead. Another one of mine. My two-inch mortar will fire again. He's ranged in on that, set, on like that half, squad. You got half the half the wounds, though, right? You are down, yeah. So that's one. So I need a two plus to uh, to hit you now. A two-inch mortar. Or should I run up to the objective? <laughs> that might not be a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess firing really is not going to do anything, is it? Let me think about it. I might kill one. I've decided to fire the two-inch mortar. Well, yeah, damn. I had forgot all about the uh, ice cold and Alex rule, which Steve just reminded me of. Which it's could, rare. Steve could very well rule. could very well cost me the game because if I roll if I roll under the game turn, 
I can only move six inches, which isn't going to get me there with my officer. It's not going to get me there with my two inch mortar. I do have guys in here still, though. So that's, you know, we have that going for us. And Damn. Potent guys too. Damn. Yeah, that, uh, I forgot. Oh, I should have ran up there a long time ago. Okay. Um, you know what? I have to do it. I got to run and then hope for a turn seven. Well, you can't, because you got to roll below a six. I got to roll below below a six. No, I thought it was above a six. No, if it's less than the turn number. So I got to roll a six. All right. If it's less than the turn number, you suffer dehydration and you run only yeah. six inches. Right. So, so I have to roll a six. Right. Come on, two-inch mortar. You can roll a six. You rolled a six last time. No. So he's only going to go six inches up. That sucks. I forgot all about that. All right, next day. We have to hope for another turn, I guess, huh? No, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> another one of mine. So my officers in the building here is in the same exact situation. Um, he has to roll a six to come out. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just advance out and fire. Maybe that's a better idea. That's what I would do. Seek officer has come out. He's got within six of those guys. He is going to fire the two SMGs. They are down though, so I need fours. I got one hit. Two hits if you add them all together. Let's see if we kill anyone. Nope. Nothing but a pin. So they're up to two pins. Alright, next guy. Another one of mine. Alright. Let's see if we can pass the one pin order with the engineers. Please, dice gods. Oh, we failed the one pin order. Oh, no, we, we pass. What? They're what? veterans. They're oh, veterans. Oh, hells, bells. <laughs> They're veterans. Come they got on. a nine. Yeah, it's worth paying the extra points for the veterans. <laughs> we did pass, thank God. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Royal engineers coming out. Flamethrower's going to be hitting on a three because it ignores everything. And the rifles, I guess, are hitting on sevens. Come on. Ah. I missed with the flamethrower. I'm lucky I'll get a... No, I hit missed with everything. I'll miss them on sevens. That's great. That. Good job, Royal Engineers. <laughs> Next die. Another one of mine. It's not like you guys are going to go down. The uh, ice cold and Alex rule is really something that's you really need to think about because I can't. I was going to run over there and then I was going to run him over there and now I can't do it either one because I got to roll a six. If I was going to do it, I should have did it a long time ago. So another one of Steve's. I'm gonna fire on your officer over there. Uh, Steve's putting that squad in the trees, holding that objective on ambush. Uh, next die. So you still got a squad behind that building, right? Yeah, but they haven't passed an order in two turns. So. And they can only go into the building. I guess, yeah, we'll see what they can do, but for now it's a British dice. Uh, I'll try to pass an order, or I'll try to... I'll try to do the Alex thing with these guys. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're not they're not dehydrated, they're plenty hydrated. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> Another one of mine. Is this the last oh, one I'm I have? I'm down to like five dice. So don't what the hell do I even have left? Surprised. I got this squad, and you have one left? Yeah. One dice left. Mm -hmm. And I have none? You have one. One. Yeah, one of each. Yeah. What the hell do I even have left? Well, let me think about it. Oh, considering how Okay. Killed Again. Everything. You've killed everything. The dehydration is setting in, and I've waited too long to try to cap. Now I have to roll another six. To get these guys, if I can get these guys over there, I'll win the game. So I gotta, I have to roll a six to win the game, Actually, essentially. You on kill points, so if it's a draw. Okay. Needing the six. Nope. Which means they only run six inches, which isn't going to get me there. And we'll shoot you in your ambush, too. And they're on ambush. Okay. The uh, 14 shots because the submachine gun's in range, so let's do that first. Uh, that's a hit. So one hit so far. And then we got the uh, machine gun needing a three. Got two more hits. 
And all the rifles should be in threes as well, right? Okay. So you got a total of seven hits. And one pin. Needing fours. Oof. Four kills. Four dead. But you got two sixes. Four dead. Okay. Uh, and a pin. The all important pin. And then I have something left, apparently. Oh, you still got a squad back there. Yes, I do. I've got one there. I got one left. Guys up here, I'll try to pass an order. Got eight. They fail. So they're going down. And the last thing is those guys back there, mm -hmm. which I'm interested to see what they do. They have a few has. Uh, he did pass the order. He's oh, advanced his boys around the building. And he's going to fire at my officer. Need to fall team. Move small team. On. Got one hit. Ever, ever important pin. You got a kill. Which means I have to take the morale test. I do pass the morale test. So I'm down to one guy in the officer team. And that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, roll a d6. See if we go to turn seven. We do go to a turn seven. Now we will see who gets the middle objective. First die. It's mine. All right, flamethrower. Oh, I forgot to run to see if it ran out of gas. It did not run out of gas. So we will fire the flamethrower again. Um, so three rifles and a flame flamethrower. So the flamethrower will be blue this time. <sighs> Let me think about this for a second. He is still going to go down. So here we go. I missed with the flamethrower again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, that's why you got to have two flamethrowers in the squad. It doubles your chances to hit. See if we run out of gas. We don't. But doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Next die. Oh, your rifles don't machine? Oh, they missed. I think oh, they needed okay. sevens or something. Another one of mine. Close support turret, or uh, close support um, uh, Matilda named Helen is going to fire at those guys over there. They're not going to go down. So I'm just needing a four for the light cover. It's a hit. Oh. That's a two-inch template, so we'll figure that out. So five hits, uh, anything but on these, because plus two on fours. Oh my god. <laughs> Three butts. <laughs> two dead. Two dead. And D3 pins. One pin, oh my god. That was a shit hit. <laughs> that was about as bad as it can get. Hitting five, killing two. Needing, one, needing anything but. All right, next die. Another one of mine. Okay. I'm going to try to pass an order with these guys. Eight, nine, yes, we do pass. Eight and fours onto those Italians in the woods there. One, two, two three, four hits. Three, yeah, four, you're right. Four hits. Eight and fours. It's just one dead. And a pin. Oh, I got a uh, a six, so that's an exceptional damage. I'll take out your uh, NCO. That'll make it harder for you to pass that order test. I think it gives you a minus one, I believe. It rarely happens, but it might help this time. Another one of mine, damn. Officer passed his order. He moved up here. He's gonna fire at these guys, but they're in hard cover, so I'm needing fours. Got one hit, that's a pin on them. So nothing but a pin. Okay, next die. Get all my pins in on you. Another one of mine. Um, damn, I can't fire that extra Bren from here, sadly. So, okay. My Matilda will fire at the squad back here uh, with the coax. Needing fives. <laughs> Not a single nice. five. Unbelievable. All right, next die. 
Just trying to get a bunch of pins on them if I can. So I think ultimately in the end it's going to come down to a draw anyway, but we're trying, we're trying. Uh, my Bren gun will fire at those guys, the Bren in here. So same thing, but I'm needing fours this time because I'm point blank. So is he part of this squad or is yeah, this guy's that guy? So probably not within six of him, I'm guessing. Yeah, but you know. Oh, I am. All right then, uh, point blank but hard cover. So fours. All right, so two hits. Two dead, and again, another two dead and another pin. All right, next die. Every, everyone's going crazy here. They fired, they fired, they fired. Now it's one of Steve's. Okay. All right, he's gonna pass an order on those boys. Uh, I think he fails. An eight, and you're missing your NCO. Yep. Oh, good thing you took out the NCO. <laughs> yes, because you had two pins anyway, right? Yep. Okay, I, think I think you would have failed even with the NCO. That's a win. I think you're challenging two objectives now. Yeah, I don't think Steve can... We'll, we'll come back and wrap it up. And that'll do it. Uh, the game is over, and the 8th Army has won barely. Uh, we have this objective. So we have more objectives. Uh, the other two have been contested, so we win it with this one. Um, really uh, epic game. I... You know, it was until that artillery barrage came in, <laughs> artillery barrage from hell. But even then, you still had two full squads ready to, to come in, in to get the middle, and I didn't have a whole lot for the middle. Now, my engineers, that was kind of who I was hoping for, and they missed with the flamethrowers twice. And But we were able to contest it with the engineers. I still have my two-inch mortar here. My officer was within three. These guys could have came out in a pinch, maybe. And it really came down to that over there. He rolled an eight with two pins on regulars. Couldn't leave, so it's contested. So, Good game. Uh, how many dead vehicles did we have? One, two, three. And then there's a truck here. Four, five. What dead vehicles did I have? Six total dead vehicles. Five of them were Steve's. <laughs> uh, yeah, he had two tanks destroyed. Uh, my MVPs will have to be the Matildas. Uh, they, I think this this Matilda took out two tanks. And then the close support Matilda was hitting everything most of the game. He even hit at the end of the game, but didn't do a lot, but still hit. So really good. Uh, my 25 pounder getting taken out. That sucked. If I had that this whole game too, it would have been I would have been raining 25 pounder shells down on anything in sight. So Steve uh, did a good job taking that thing out immediately with mass machine gun fire, which these Italian tanks have a lot of. So what about you, Steve? What, what do you think? You know, it's hard on a on a, on a list where you've got a, a something I can't kill. You know, there's I'm short on AT. I've got lots of machine guns, but no AT. Yeah. Speak of. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. I like having the vehicle. I think the vehicles are fun. Um, yeah, the tank platoon lists are pretty fun. We should do another one someday. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Maybe later war with like Shermans and Tigers and stuff would be kind of fun. Bigger tanks. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I need a Panzer Faust or some, <laughs> some way to just keep you from just running rough shot, rough shot over my armor. But, um, yeah. It was nice to see the flamethrower whiff. Um, I don't know. I, it, that was, it was a good game. I thought it was a good game. Uh, they, I mean, the, the Matillas are not impervious to your light AT guns. They're nines um, against your fours. So it is possible to penetrate them on a six. So you need a five or six to do something to them. So you could have, uh, you could have done something to them. It's not super super high odds, but it is possible. Um, well, I got pass orders too. That's pass cool. orders. The sand. The oh, sand I, was I killing think me. The, uh, I think the, uh, <laughs> the foobar and the two failed orders on the, on the armored car were my favorite. Yes. Yeah. He, he put four pins on the on, another, <laughs> on his own guy. Yeah. The tank. <laughs> yeah, and then the whole the sand fell into the holes. So. Yeah, the sand was fun. Uh, the dust clouds didn't really do a lot. Uh, we did have one, I think, back here. 
but no one really ran after that so but the sand was a big deal it was putting multiple pins on on every vehicle and that that is that is pretty brutal uh, and then that ice cold and alex rule I really like that rule. I like that. as long as you remember it exists i think it's a cool rule that really uh that really changes the whole dynamic of a game like this with objectives because you can't just sit around and wait till the end of the game to rush out and grab the objectives like I'm used to doing. And it, I forgot the rule and Steve kept reminding me and it's like, well, I can't even get there from here now. I mean, unless I got really lucky like I did with that boys AT rifle. So that rule is really good for, I mean, it's, it forces you to move on the objectives a lot earlier in the game and it, it can change the whole way a game can play just because you have to, have, you have to take that in consideration during your plan and during the game it's like okay i gotta get up there now i can't just you know, hide behind a rock and then rush out in the last turn and, and contest because i might not make it so that's a pretty cool rule it could be used for anything just change it from dehydration to something else i mean it seems like in a desert it's, it's a it's a rule that has a basis in reality that you can the longer you play, the yeah. harder it gets. To the run. more fighting you do, the, the more thirsty you get. So, yeah. So yeah, super cool. So, well, great job for the uh, Eighth Army winning their first game by the skin of their teeth. Really, it came down to the very, very last turn, turn seven. It would have been a draw if it would have ended on turn six, but the turn seven gave Eighth Army the victory. So, uh, we'll go ahead and call it now. So, thanks, to, uh, Steve, for coming out. Thanks to all the guys who were here on the live stream, hanging out with us as well. And uh, check out our sponsors, as um, Kick-Ass Mail Order and um, Geek Villain Gaming Mats. they got some great stuff. Check out our Patreon if you want to uh, help the channel and support what we do here. Keep us going. Um, then, as well as our, all of our uh, social media stuff. We've got a Facebook group, which is pretty, pretty big. It's got a lot of people in it and very active. So a lot of cool and positive hobby stuff happening there. And then our other stuff on Twitter and uh, Instagram. So I think that's it. And with that, we'll say thanks, guys. Let us know what you think about this game and the uh, the desert rules. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Travis. Yep.